Hey guys, Tresses of Casey Styles here, also known as Tashana or Kiki. So my YouTube videos are going to be a little different. Um, I still do hair. Um, I'll be doing hair probably for maybe to the end of this year, maybe the summertime. But I have started my own beauty supply store, black owned, veteran owned beauty supply store. Um, I wanted to do a brick and mortar, like have a building, but I'm going to start out slowly. I have everything registered, my business name, license, all this stuff. With the state of Colorado, you don't need a business license for certain things. You just need your sales sex license, your city sales sex license, and all that good stuff, which I have. <clears throat> so, I started out slowly. So, I have been finding vendors, which mean um, distributors, wholesalers, that I can order my stuff from. And I have, I think, five or six accounts with different distributors <clears throat> that, I, that I want to order my inventory through. So right now, everything is going to be online. Um, you're able to, if you're in Colorado, you're able to pick it up. Um, I'm gonna have an option where we can deliver and you can also have it shipped to you. So you don't have to be in the state of Colorado to purchase from. You can purchase from any other state and I will ship it to you. But so for my first order, I spent less than $200 and I got quite a bit of stuff. Um, so on my website, you will see the beauty supply products. You will see wigs because I do make wigs and I try to sell affordable wigs. And um, I also make custom hair wraps, so you will see those on my website. Um, so I'm gonna show you the items that I have. So this is what is on the website now. We have combs, dye brush, scissors. You got some snap-on rollers, um, wig caps headbands, ponytail holders, or rubber bands, duck clips, uh, bobby pins, some butterfly clips. I also have some dye mixing bowls, some loose crochet needles, as well as the crochet needles that's <clears throat> packaged. And I also have beaters as well for shoes. Because at one point I was making custom shoes. These are two pair of Halloween shoes that I had made. Um, and I also custom made some brand new vans that said Black Lives Matter. And these are size 9 and women. I have custom hair wraps that I made. These are all adult sizes right here. <clears throat> these are taller sizes. And these are the custom wigs. Like I said, you can see all of that on the website. <clears throat> so, what I do is I have a list of different vendors that I use. Um, where I got my shelves and pegboards from, I got that from Uline.com. In my next video, I will give you a list of the vendors or of distributors that you can set up an account with. Some of them require uh, a minimum of 500. This one required a minimum of 150. Some of them you have to wait to get verified to approve your account. Some of them they just let you sign up and make the account and that's it. Um, let's see what else. I will also explain in my next video how to try to establish your business credit because um, that's something you want to have as a business whether it's online whether it's in a brick and mortar 
you want to be able to establish your business credit and that's something i am working on but for now that's what i have as far as like inventory i will be making an order hopefully very soon i have set up a gofundme in order to try to raise money to get more inventory because it's not easy inventory can be expensive depending on the type of things that you want like for my first order like i said it was my first order so i wanted to start off small just to see and i spent like 180 some dollars um so i did set up a gofundme so if you're interested in you know helping a sister out i will have the link down below in my description box i will have a link to my website as well um don't forget to rate comment subscribe i will also you know i will also make plenty of videos uh or the beauty supply store i'm not trying to hide any information i noticed that on youtube it's hard to find information it's like they don't want to give you anything they don't want to help uh, help you out it's like we all in this together we in different parts of the world you know we should always be willing to help each other so i would definitely make sure i have my website link my gofundme link like i said don't forget to rate comment subscribe bear with me this was like my first video in a long time so i didn't really know what to say but yeah